good old crazy Hanji Zoe from Attack on Titan. Who doesn't love this insane scientist? Despite this, there still is a lot of mystery regarding this particular Suri Corps member. From what has been confirmed, Hanji weighs 132 pounds or 60 kilograms. Hanji is also 5 feet 7 inches or 170 centimeters. As for Hanji's birthday, that is on September 5th. So a huge happy birthday to Hanji. Definitely go ahead and give a colossal thumbs up for her. Oh, and by the way, just how old are you anyway? Hanji's real age seems to be a tightly guarded classified secret. It's up there with the secret of the walls. However, Hanji's age isn't the only thing that's unknown. Hanji's background is entirely and completely a black box. Isayama himself hasn't been too forgiving with giving any hints about Hanji's past. The youngest you ever see of Hanji has been this picture of Hanji as a kid, which is something from one of the Attack on Titan games. Notice how she resembles Armin with that book. According to Isayama, even Hanji's gender is still a mystery. Hmm. So what exactly is Hanji? Is Hanji a manly dude or a girly lady? Why not either? Whenever asked about the Hanji gender question that's come up in the past, for Isayama he said that it's not important. So he leaves the interpretation up to the readers. Back in 2011, Isayama was asked about this. At that time, Isayama said that Hanji's a woman, but every now and then Hanji looks manly. However, when the Attack on Titan manga got printed in English, Isayama took personal issue when the series ended up using feminine pronouns when referring to Hanji. Isayama specifically requested this to be fixed in the following reprint, and to use gender-neutral pronouns instead. So, this means how you see manga Hanji is totally up to you. However, it seems this may not be the case for anime Hanji. In the Attack on Titan anime, Hanji at very least has a very clear female body. Hanji is also voiced by a female, although if you do go by this logic, then a ton of popular shonen male characters would be female too. Isn't that right, Goku? Oh, and let's not forget about Hanji from the live-action Attack on Titan movie. She's definitely female right there. Although perhaps the movie is piss forgotten. As for the lady behind this mad scientist, Hanji's voiced by the Korean-Japanese voice actress Romi Park. Let's see how many of her popular roles you're familiar with. The Ice Captain Toshiro from Bleach. Demari from Boruto and his dad series. This one was surprising for me, Teresa from Claymore. The Digimon Kaiser from Digimon Adventure. The bite-sized Edward from Fullmetal Alchemist. Brotherhood 2. Walter from Helsing Ultimate. Matoi's Insane Mother from Kill la Kill. Madam Red from Black Butler. Fales from Murder Princess. Nana from Nana. Naoto from the Persona 4 anime. Brock's younger brother from Pokemon. Ren from Shami King and Yukio from the Wolverine anime. Definitely let me know down below if any of these surprised you. Next up, let's go ahead and talk about Hanji's research and research field. It turns out that Hanji has been curious about the walls ever since she was a kid. One time, she even took a shovel at the walls and started scraping away. That is, until the military police yelled at her. Let's be thankful that Hanji didn't get a visit from Kenny instead. Perhaps this further sparked her interest in the outside world. This, of course, is combined with her thirst of discovering the Titan's secrets. Haji once talked to someone about Titans for two days straight without even realizing. I could only imagine the other person did not survive. Or surely it was Levi, who doesn't need much sleep at all. Talking about Levi, Haji has admitted to being knocked out by Levi and bathed by him in the past. I'm sure Levi also doesn't appreciate how messy her lab is kept. Hanji's assistant, Moblet, makes sure she sleeps and eats daily, otherwise Hanji may forget. Ultimately, Hanji would love to research vegetation and humanity's past outside of the walls, if only they ever wipe out this titan problem. One of Hanji's key traits with her appearance is her glasses or goggles. At first glance, it may not appear like much, but perhaps you got a bit of Isayama trolling here too. In a past Q&A, Isayama has commented regarding Hanji's horrible eyesight. He claimed that without her glasses, Hanji wouldn't be able to tell Reiner apart from Jean. So holy crap, come on Hanji, you can't tell animals apart from titans? Even Kone could do that. But this is where things get interesting. In a special edition character interview featuring Hanji, Hanji was asked about her glasses situation personally. 
She claimed that she could still see faces without them. However, she preferred to wear goggles instead, since it was hard as hell to use the 3D maneuver gear without your glasses flying away. So, does Hanji need them or not? By the way, goggles definitely add to her appearance. Isayama has noted how Hanji does have this trait of removing her glasses or goggles whenever she gets angry. During this, Hanji often goes into kicking mode towards chairs and tables. You recently got a taste of this in Season 3. So far, you have witnessed firsthand how thirsty Hanji is for more and more knowledge, especially when it comes to the origin of the Titans. It turns out, this isn't at all just for show. Perhaps Hanji does suffer by seeming a bit too loony at times, but which genius isn't a tad off? And I definitely do mean genius. Hanji's official intelligence rating goes beyond the limit. Isayama gave her an 11 out of 10. Just to get an idea and put this in perspective, Hanji's intelligence is comparable to Levi's combat ability. Both of them exceed the limit, coming in at 11 each. This does make Hanji the brightest, smartest character in Attack on Titan. Even Armin and Orwin only come in at a 10. Well, not quite anyway. There is another character in the series who rivals Hanji in intelligence. You know him as the Beast Titan, or his human name, Zeke. Throughout the series, I'm sure you notice Hanji's interesting relationship with Levi. This actually goes pretty deep. Hanji has credited this to being stationed near Levi's squad. Supposedly, Levi has been patient enough to listen to Hanji's thoughts and research. During this, Levi wouldn't say much at all. Levi would only appear to be deep in thought throughout her rambles. Maybe this is why Hanji thinks she gets along with Levi best. If you only seen the attack on Titan anime, then you're actually missing a part of their interesting relationship, or start of it. Levi first met Hanji during his No Regret series. Not the anime version, but the manga one. During this, Levi and his buddies were outside of the walls with the Survey Corps. During the nighttime, the Survey Corps stopped momentarily to rest. This was when Levi first ran into Hanji. Interesting how Levi first thought that Hanji had discovered their plans. So, Levi almost ended up killing Hanji. It was super close. Thankfully for us, Levi held back. And funny how today, there's so many people that ship these two together. If you're watching this, you're very likely a huge fan of Hanji, or at least curious to find out what makes this mad scientist tick. You may be surprised as to just how much love Hanji has gotten over the years. In the very first Attack on Titan popularity poll, good old Hanji actually made it into the lower top 10. She came in at number 7, just below the female titan Annie. Then, in the second Attack on Titan popularity poll, Hanji got even more love. Hanji climbed into the top 5, getting 5th place. Right here, Hanji beat out best girl Armin and came in under Mr. Horse. Recently, for the latest Attack on Titan popularity poll, Hanji got top 3 status with 3rd place. She's right there with her buddy Levi. And who knows, Hanji at this rate may eventually take the top spot next time. As to what led to the creation of Hanji, Isayama has shared some of the juicy details. Isayama claims he really wanted his story to have this mad scientist type of character with the unknown gender. Hanji was supposed to come across as someone who was pretty unhygienic. She's supposed to appear sticky, dirty, with long messy hair. Isayama wonders whether he's been able to get across this image with his drawings. But why is Hanji like this? Isayama thinks of Hanji being similar to an otaku. Why does Hanji not care about her appearance? It's obviously since something else much more interesting came along and grabbed her attention. That's right, Hanji is an obsessed titan otaku. Hanji is not meant to be a person that's bound by everyday real world standards. That's part of what makes up Hanji and her charm as a mad scientist. Alright, so getting deeper into Hanji minor spoiler stuff. You've already seen in Attack on Titan Season 3 how Hanji has risen from Survey Corps squad leader into full Survey Corps captain as Survey Corps commander. Even after the 4 year time skip recently in the Attack on Titan manga, Hanji remains in this position. Throughout the series, unsurprisingly, Hanji has almost died countless times due to her encounters with Titans, sometimes even humans. You saw how overconfident Hanji got in the recent Attack on Titan Season 3 episode. Fortunately, Hanji walked away from that one, somehow. <laughs> Besides that time, Hanji later had a very close death encounter when she battled the Colossal Titan the second time. 
Thankfully for Hanji fans, she ended up surviving just barely, although it did come at the cost of her left eye. It's really no wonder that some fans want Hanji to become the next female titan, just to get some of that Deadpool healing factor. Post time skip, Hanji as a Survey Corps commander has upgraded the Survey Corps to use the new and improved 3D maneuver gear. This is similar to what Kenny's squad has used. You could only imagine what other wild inventions or crazy plans Hanji's gonna come up with for her and the Survey Corps going into the finale of Attack on Titan. Whatever that may be, it'll definitely be interesting. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this in-depth look at Hanji. If you enjoyed anime videos like this one, please do consider becoming a supporter on Patreon. All supporters also do get access to Discord, so come join us. But anyway, more importantly, let me hear from you. Question of the day. What do you think about this mad scientist? Is Hanji anyone's favorite character? I don't really see people screaming Hanji as their favorite. By the way, does anyone ship Hanji with anyone? Anyway, definitely give us a call, a thumbs up, and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I put out 5 plus anime videos here every week. Right now for Attack on Titan, I'm covering Season 3 weekly. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss my episode breakdowns and anime vs manga change videos. Go ahead and check out past anime facts videos, hit that no notifications, and I'll see you guys later.